Good evening guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin evening wrap. So if you guys would mind smashing that like button, we will go straight over to those charts. Um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, <laughs> Bitcoin um, lost that trend line that we drew in this morning. Um, this lower side trend line. No, I don't think we drew the trend line this morning. I think we drew the, the top side, the channel. Um, but yeah, this downside um, we did have drawn in. This was sort of the triangle we're looking at um yeah i mean i believe this is just basically doing what i kind of expected it to do over the weekend and was to sort of range um yeah we did we did have a break above but we have basically ended up back in the sort of in the range that we were in um prior to the weekend uh, which kind of makes sense um and we're gonna wait for some direction in obviously the markets that do leave bitcoin um which obviously the stock markets and the dollar, uh, mainly the dollar, because obviously that leads everything. So yeah, we're going to wait for some direction from there. Just quickly whizzing over to weekend Wall Street, a little bit weaker, um, a little bit weaker, um, nothing spectacular. But yeah, like I said, this will normally move pretty quickly once actually the future actually starts to open in the direction it's going to, in the whatever direction it then it is going to go in. Um, but yeah, I mean you could pretty much draw a horizontal here as well. Um, obviously we have lost the trend line. Um, the horizontal, which is around, well, it's a 1088 level, 10,800 level that we have um, that we have identified um, beforehand um, as a as a level that was important. Obviously, previously it was it was it was it was corresponding with the bottom of the trend line, so we didn't really have it drawn in as a horizontal. But yeah, we're drawing horizontal now. This is obviously it's roughly the mid range, as you can see, the mid range of this range. Uh, much the same that this 11.3 is the mid range of that range and uh, well the midpoints the midpoints on, on ranges are obviously important um so that is where we're at so if we do lose this 10,800 um then um yeah 10,600 and we have lost the bottom of this trend line um so if we aren't going to get caught at the midpoint then we will we will likely come and test the 10,600 um and then it is a case of do we hold 10,600 keep um some sort of some sort of bullish structure as we start to make our way back up or do we lose 10,600 and start to look incredibly um incredibly bearish actually um so yeah that is kind of what we're looking at um obviously this price action being the weekend um um could very easily um, go either way once actually the, the the real markets open the proper markets open um so yeah we'll have to see what happens there btc um dominance um yeah making making its way um upwards obviously broke that pennant with duran um and as you can see as soon as we broke it um got some nice acceleration well it's not nice if you're an old but some ex nice upwards acceleration um as per what we were expecting um well at the breakout of the pennant so that has gone to the upside and now looking like it's bear flagging so is this going to keep pushing up um draining alts of their liquidity um or is it going to come down are people getting out of alts into the more liquid btc um to decide um what well just so that they can actually um more easily um maneuver themselves when we when we make a decision at this eleven thousand zone uh, I mean that is that is clearly what uh, well what is most likely is most likely happening here. Um, so yeah, back over here. So I did want to have a look at uh, at um, some of the moving averages just on the on the larger time scales. So um, we'll start with the monthly. So here is it's mainly the monthly twenty one I'm looking at. Um, so you can see in the monthly twenty one, um, it guides us up. <laughs> very nicely this whole bull run here and um, this whole bull run which basically culminates in um in 20k um from i mean near enough bitcoin's inception uh well it is basically bitcoin's inception down here um so well actually it's not but um yeah um so yeah um, all the way above there in the monthly 21 then we kind of lost it we kind of we lost it back tested it a few times we got pinned down by it until we broke back above it nice bullish action and then at the moment we have well broken below it popped above broke below and back above it now so we have been playing out relative relative compared to these big moves sort of sideways um but we do have a positive slope on the monthly um the monthly um 21 um we have come down and tested it near perfectly um and we are bouncing off it so um if this we can stay above here this can start to get more of an upward slope we can start to um well 
get guided up by the day 21 in much this case we did there um <laughs> well what could we expect um um, we could expect um, um, a lot more bullish price action. So anyway, my main point though is that this is um, this is looking good on the monthly, uh, moving average wise. So now let's have a look at the weekly. How is the weekly doing? Um, so yeah, you can see weekly um, pretty much does um, to a certain extent guide the price action. We can pop up it, uh, pop up, uh, pop up above it. Uh, but um, <clears throat> usually, um, obviously, the longer longer trend is um what is more important but yeah um once it does um have sort of that downward downward uh, meandering slope we tend to get we tend to get pinned down once we get an upward meandering spoke slope we tend to come up upward slope up downward slope down obviously up down up and we currently um we are currently looking at um turning over here um to a downward slope so that's not not really what we wanted to look at we nearly did here but we managed to break up so um this is clearly um <laughs> a worse situation than what we were in here we were only just below it and it wasn't looking too bad but we uh, as as it happens here on the week that we have smashed below it quite quite um quite aggressively um so i mean this does on this weekly time frame look like those sort of textbook bounces to the mid range of the candle um and it also is a bounce up to the um weekly 21 also um so um yeah i mean this is not looking as bullish as the monthly so we've got a bit of um divergence there between them and then finally we'll look at the daily um yeah i mean you can see the daily obviously is a lot more reactive to price action um but daily is still sloping upwards we have come down and tested it but we are below it at the moment so um it's not ideal i mean it, we need to we need to get through this level we need to get back above this eleven thousand level get back into well once we actually have our thingy on have our, have our drawing tools on you can kind of see the zone we're trying to get into which is this zone here um get back into this zone um and um yeah i mean we can realistically expect um expect good things but i mean you can see this daily candle that we've got today um pretty swift rejection down to that 10,800 but um this is the level we can very easily bounce from um and it would look it would just look perfectly normal within the chart with not the, within the price um the price movement um and then yeah and then uh, make up make our way make our way to the upside and um, back over to that four hour for our most zoomed in our most um, our, our lowest time frame that we really analyze um so yeah i mean we've got to hold this 10 8 um, we wanted to hold the trend line but i mean the trend line was aggressive we were basically expecting upward movement breaking through and keeping upward over a weekend and i mean as i made bluntly clear at the start of the weekend um, I don't really expect us to make be making big mood directional moves over the weekend more just more just the range in price action which which is what which is what we have done so far um, but it is the end of the weekend um, futures are actually opening soon and then cash marks will be cash markets will be open up tomorrow um, so we will obviously have um, a lot more um, a lot more of a, um, a directional um, well a directional follow my lead a directional bias to um, look at um with the overall markets but so um it is obviously a big week for the overall markets um we'll have just have a look i mean we saw these at the closes you can see nasdaq looking very precarious here um looking very very looking very toppy um in all fairness um i mean nasdaq especially i mean you can look at the hot this whole price action and um, we haven't seen anything really like this um since we put in these lows at all so this is clearly um a change of behavior um on the flip side if you did want to make a, a bullish argument not that it's a bullish argument just to make a bullish excuses for this price action um uh, we couldn't realistically keep staying going on and was not was not was not was in this in this um in this um um channel so we had to break out of it potentially test some downside and then resume upwards if that's what we're going to do it doesn't mean we are going to have to break down and come down and that is it um i mean i mean realistically you'd expect us to get <laughs> get back up to uh, the midpoint of the, of the move which at the moment we don't have that yet because we haven't we don't know where the bottom of this move is but once we do have a a, a confirmed bottom I, I obviously understand we're on an hour out of chart here we can probably go to a four hour um i don't know why that hour was on there 
Um, but yeah, um, yeah. Once we do confirm a proper low, then yeah, we can look for a, a midpoint test of the range. Um, maybe we have put in a low, um, wicking below here and getting back above, um, and then we'll be coming to test around the 11.6. And then it's a case of can we push on from there, or do we get rejected there? S and P. S&P is not looking as bad, um, but it just hasn't had the same um, accelerated run to the upside. Um, so yeah, you can. Well, I mean, you can kind of see it here. Um, we have had similar price action in the S&P here. Um, Prior, well, since um, post these uh, March lows, um, and yeah, we, we we could just be playing that sort of price movement out again here, and then and then onwards and upwards. But um, clearly, this um, price action in the Nasdaq is nothing we have experienced um since since the march lows so but obviously like 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 i keep saying nasdaq has been on a tear um so um yeah obviously um it's gonna get a bit more um a bit more dicey on its pullbacks and then an asset that has been not necessarily um <laughs> been on a tear um so let's have a look at the stochastics whilst we're here um one last um yeah the one last thing we're looking at four hour getting deep getting deep down here yeah four hour did 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 drag us down once we turn back down so yeah price action coming down with the four hour sorry 10 hour first 10 hour coming down um nicely as well um obviously with price action and 12 hour looking to turn down and coming obviously this is the one we need to be careful of um if it does uh, if it basically gets into this purple zone down to about here then realistically um, it is going to be a drag on price guys and we haven't got a lot of room to maneuver here um, we lose 10 6 we are looking bad um, and I don't think we'll we'll be going to bounce off 10k again unless um, we're going to just rely on um, um, is it micro strategies to um, buy 175 million dollars worth of Bitcoin um, around the 10k mark to try and save us I mean it was I think I remember saying at the time um, I think it was in that in the telegram group about there's obviously um, someone buying at 10k it's just a case of how much do they want to buy um, and then what happens when they bought everything they want to buy so um, they obviously kept managed to keep buying here more than the market wanted to sell them so we had to bounce up so um, there we go um, but overall all in all sorry actually let's look at the rest of stochastics whilst we're here Let's get that. Let's get that good old two day. Two day coming up nicely. Is three day turning yet? No, it's not. But then obviously price has come down a little bit. Five days obviously not going to turn yet. Even obviously we know monthly it's not going to. We don't really need to. We don't need to look at it to tell that. But um, yeah, I mean daily is getting toppy though. Um, well, it's, it's, sorry, daily not getting toppy. Daily's not getting. It's closer to obviously getting to the top than it was wasn't the bottom. So um, we've got to watch for that flipping. Um, I mean, I'm just looking at the daily chart. You can see um, we're in this zone. It would not be, um, it would be fine, I believe, for price action just to play around this 11,000 11, to 10,600 zone as long as we don't lose it. Um, and then, yeah, just put in a bit of a base here and then push on with, onwards. But yeah, if we do play in this zone and lose this level and come back down, um, yeah, I mean, you look just just visually looking at it. You've got to be targeting a a lower low, which is lower than 10k, um, and it will start to make things look particularly bad. Um, so that is a potential option. But like I said, we we just we are going to follow what the stock markets do, guys. There's no two ways about that, um, and we are going to follow um, all, what the what the dollar does. If the dollar keeps coming down, um, then we are going to go up. If the dollar starts going up, keeps going up, we are going to go down, and um, that is basically. Um, all you need to know about these markets. Let's bang this on the daily. Um, so yeah, you can see we can see we are we are we are we are heavily flirting with, with this line, um, but we have done it a long time previously, and we just got wiped out by it um, eventually. So that is my um, base case scenario. That is what I'm expecting. How I'm expecting it to play out. But yeah, I mean, I clearly will know when I'm wrong <clears throat> once we start basically having candles around here. At that point, I know that I'm wrong, so um, and I can obviously then act, act accordingly. Um, so that is it, really, guys. We will start analysing Ethereum um, in tomorrow morning's video. Um, I will um, just get those charts up and um, ready for that video. And um, I feel I, I honestly, I feel like I say this every weekend. It is a big week for Bitcoin. It's a big week for Bitcoin. It's a big week for Bitcoin. Every week, every new week is a big week for Bitcoin. Um, but um, 
I mean, to be honest, it's not even true, is it, really? It's a big week for stock markets, that's it. Uh, a big week for the dollar. Um, I mean, like I said, obviously I do say the dollar just drives stock markets, but there are times, obviously, when stock markets do drive the dollar. Um, basically, if people want to exit stocks and then and then hide out in the dollar, um, that will then drive the dollar, and that will be the actual stock selling first, rather than necessarily the dollar um, strengthening and then people then dumping their stocks. I mean, what I would kind of say how it how I I believe it I perceive it it, it works is obviously um, the dollar will go up when people decide they want to get out of stocks and buy dollars and get into the dollar instead. Um, so that is stocks driving the dollar up to a certain extent, but the dollar getting weakened by um, by basically what the the treasury and the Fed are doing is then what is then driving stocks up. So that is the dollar driving the stocks up. Um, the dollar sorry the dollar weakening going down it does is what drives the stocks up um but then also stocks going down is then what can drive the dollar um up um so yeah just 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 clarifying that uh, that nuance that nuance um anyway so thanks for listening guys this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor i hope you guys all had a good weekend i think my fantasy football team's doing okay i was doing really well um and obviously it's a relative trade compared to everyone else and then um some other players had some big um big scores um so um that didn't help me too much but i am currently on um 69 points um i've got a few more bonus points to come in there's a couple more games that i don't have players in so other players will other players within the competition or the people will get some points there but um, as it stands, I'm doing very well. First, 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 first. I probably won't be f uh, first in all these leagues um, once we actually get the full and final results for this week. But um, I believe I will be overall by the end. Um, but overall, overall, I am in <laughs> I mean, I'm in 21,409th position. Um, and that might sound like not a great position. But um, let me show you how many people are playing this. 6.6 uh, .6 million. Over 6.6 .6 million. So out of 6.6 .6 million... I am um, 21,400 at the moment. Um, this will go down because um, other people have scored pretty pretty highly this um, this today. Um, but yeah, we are in it for the long run. So um, not football advice, not trading advice, not financial advice, not any advice. Um, <laughs> and I'll speak to you guys um, tomorrow.